What's going on, Cancer? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be your reading for the rest of February 2024. So in this reading, Cancer, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the rest of February. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming, and we're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides for you and so much more regarding February 2024. So before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading. And I really do appreciate you in advance, Cancer, for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading does resonate with you, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of cancer. See what we got going on here for you, Cancer. Um, so for the rest of February, the first thing coming through is that a lot of you will be turning down a love offer that will really, uh, I don't want to say hurt your heart, but it could be something that you're being offered in love or some sort of opportunity that you need for some sort of reason to wait or your intuition is screaming at you, you know, this is not going to go good. We better wait. We better not you know, go pedal to the metal with this relationship right now because something is sketchy and you can feel it. And so um, interesting energy. Before we get into the tarot, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards for you about the rest of February. And this is the energy that you need more of. So the first energy that you need more of for the rest of February is the seventh house of love and partnerships. So this is kind of like a Libra energy, but spirit is definitely calling you to focus on one-to-one -one relationships of all kinds at this time. Um, but there's definitely something in your field, and I feel like it's more so for the people that are listening to this as I upload it. You know, if you're watching this like a week later, maybe, maybe not. But for a lot of you, there's something about someone is really trying to get to you. Someone is trying to reach out to you. This could be a past lover for a lot of you, and um, a lot of you are going to really, it's going to hurt your heart a little bit to, to turn this down to say, you know what, I deserve better than this. I don't have time for this. I need to do something different because what you don't see coming in um, February is a lot of maturity and healing and stability. And I feel the first test in February 2024 cancer for you is going to have to be walking away or putting a boundary with someone who potentially has bad intentions for you. And I don't sense that someone necessarily has bad intentions for you, but I sense they just want to do the same as they've always done with you, if, if that makes sense for some of you. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be more so focused on your finances, focused on your money for the rest of February. But obviously, because you need the seventh house of love and relationships, you know, there could be something else coming through. We're going to have to see. And so yeah, there's definitely good things going on in, in love, but I feel like the first thing for you is to, to deny the one that you know you need to den deny. Does that make sense? All right, and now the, the next one is the third house of communication. And um, this is similar to Gemini energy. And I do feel like there is something that you need to talk out with someone. This could even be multiple people for you in love cancer, whether this is romantic or not. There's definitely a bunch. Of, I just feel like it could even be multiple people that you need to put up a boundary with and say, you know, the self-loving move is to not engage in, you know, any sort of form of abuse. If, if you feel like someone is not honoring you, they're not treating you the way that you want to be treated, 
then I feel like there is something that you need to communicate to this person. Um, and I would definitely avoid ghosting if I were you. There's definitely something about your power will not be res will not be given to you if you just ghost. You have to communicate the boundary and that way someone honors it, okay? This is what I'm sensing. The next energy that you need more of for February is Virgo. So there could be a Virgo. You know, some of you could, the relationship could have to do with Virgo energy. There could be multiple Virgos, something about Virgo. And I feel like there's definitely something you need to talk out, you know, have a, have a chat with the Virgo. Now, if there's not something to do with a literal Virgo, you need to be very precise and critical. Virgo is the sign of the critic. Virgo is the sign of the perfectionist. Virgo is the sign that is very much so concerned with details, okay? And I feel like there's this energy of, I don't know who this is. I feel like it's someone trying to court you, especially for the sick single cancers out there, but there's someone trying to court you. This could even be a bad business deal that you need to, what I feel is not just let someone sweep something under the rug. Some of you, if this is not, if this is not love, then this is definitely a business deal that you might be being offered in February, like mid-February, that you really, Cancer, are going to want to read between the lines, Virgo it out, Simon Cowell, you fired. So the reason I say that is this, your opportunity for February is the Queen of Pentacles. Your challenge, though, is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords has to do with destruction lust, someone who is a pillager, someone who has real bad intentions, you know, a killer type of energy. And this could be someone's, the challenge for you, I feel, could be to hold back your rage for some of you. A lot of you will be, I'm sensing for the rest of February, a lot of you will be dealing with your own anger management for sure. And what that's about, we're going to have to see. But the main thing that I got, Cancer, is you need to put up a boundary with someone who does not have the best intentions for you. And in some sort of way, it's definitely related to your money or it's related to your stability and uh, something to do with the earth realm with the queen of pentacles. We'll see why the queen of pentacles is in your opportunity. But I do feel this is about knowing your worth and not getting sucked into a deal that is once again, anti-Virgo. Okay. I sense what, and this can be carried over into many different manifestations for all the different cancers out there. But what I sense very strongly is a situation of lackluster, lack of boundary, lack of clarity. Hey, here's the business deal. We'll, we'll figure it out later, the details. Hey, come hang out with me. Let's have sex. We'll figure out later what we are to each other. Do you understand that that's just going to really mess you up? You do understand that. And so that's what I want you to avoid for the rest of February, okay? Now, there also is something about someone else, whether this is love or not, that you need to put up a boundary with that you don't want to. This is a different energy that I'm picking up on now. And uh, it's someone that you need to put up a boundary with that is gonna really hurt your heart and may lead to anger management within you. So let's just go into the overall general energy of this reading. So the overall general energy for the rest of February for you is the Ace of Pentacles, which is an offer. It also has to do with improving health. And I have a download that your health, your physical health, why do you think the Queen of Pentacles is your opportunity? Your physical health is gonna improve as a result of you saying no and putting a boundary with someone who doesn't have your best interest in hand. But with this being your overall general energy, there's someone's gonna make an offer to you. And right now, as the timeline reads, you're not gonna take it. You're not gonna take the bait. You're gonna go into the Virgo energy. And that's what I like to see for you. Now, you also have the three of swords here in your overall general energy as well. So for some of you, the person that you put up a boundary with may actually be genuinely hurt. But what I more so sense from this cancer is there's someone else here may not be romantic that you need to put up a boundary with that it may bring up a lot for you for some sort of reason, you know, and, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but that's just what I'm picking up on. And February has the chance and in what you don't see coming to be a much better surprise if you can play your cards right. How do you play your cards right? Communication, Virgo, precise communication, contracts, details, 
are we a partnership? Is this for you? Who, who's benefiting from this? And in what you don't see coming, there's a lot of stability and a lot of healing, but it's not going to come from you flailing and having an emotional get together, an emotional business meeting, an emotional love encounter, an emotional family thing, an emotional friend conversation. No, but look, it looks good. Um, you have the Empress, which is the pinnacle of abundance. You have the Four of Pentacles, which is about stability. And you have the Four of Swords, which is all about stability as well and healing. So financial healing, uh, intellectual healing. And with the Empress here, I just get like you kind of chilling. You know what I mean? There could be you knowing your own worth and um, really developing something within yourself, you know, because you must program this reality from within. But for a lot of you, there could be something really here that is substantially going well for you. And it's something in what you don't see coming. So we're gonna see why that's there in a moment. Now, let's go ahead and go to your advice. Um, your advice is a little bit more tricky. You know, you have the Justice card, the Two of uh, Pentacles, and also the Six of Wands, which is public victory. And, and this is letting me know that you need to do things the right way. The Justice card is the card of karma, but it's also the card of law and order. And in what you don't see coming, the Four of Pentacles to the Four of Swords is order. Your opportunity, the Queen of Pentacles, is orderly. Your challenge is the Five of Swords, who is, is, is a maniac. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles to so the Seven of Wands. Some, I feel like a maniac, whether it's a business tycoon, whether it's a horny tycoon, whether it's a family tycoon, whether it's a friend tycoon, whether it's a random hobo tycoon. Um, law and order is the advice, okay? Don't do anything that you think you can get away with. For the rest of February, I'm telling you right now, okay? And you have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, which is telling me your public, your victory is in question depending on how you play your cards. If you're aloof, if you do things without reading between the lines, if you do things without, and I feel like there's something with the Virgo, third house and seventh house, it's almost like you need to do things in writing. Whether this is just you're the home, you're, you're the cancer mother, you're the cancer mother at home and, and like you need to have a contract with your kids or like you need to put something in writing. It can't just be la di da di da up in the air is really what I would suggest for you. But it seems like the main thing for you um, for the rest of February is potentially turning down an offer that looks fun or looks lucrative. But I think deep down you know that this is just weird. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into why the queen of pentacles is your opportunity because there's definitely an opportunity to make money this uh there's definitely an opportunity to make money i definitely feel that so let's see why the queen of pentacles is your opportunity for the rest of february yeah you have the magician so maybe it's a lot of that potential okay coming to light let's see manifesting things with your spiritual energy is really important is your opportunity you know, not just focusing only on the physical, but realizing the spiritual feeds into the physical, as always. But not losing sight of that in this matrix. Yeah, a lot of your your opportunity is financial healing, but it may come as a result of you just saying no to something that's that is just a bad option. It's just really what I feel. So a lot of you, hold on. Yeah. Interesting. The Queen of Pentacles, um, in your opportunities, clarified by the magician, the star, and also the lovers here. When it comes to, uh, when it comes to your opportunity, and I really feel like you are faced with a big choice in love here, and I feel like the wrong, letting the wrong person in, is really going to take away from the right person coming in for you. Because obviously, with the magician, here's the thing: the magician is also a card of potential. It's not necessarily something that has manifested already. And also, the star is more of a card of regeneration, and it's a card of wish fulfillment. So what do the star and the magician have in common? They're both something that kind of point to the future. They're both something that have spiritual energy, and I feel like this is more of a choice. Your opportunity is to make a choice that you're going to love yourself. Okay, because the lover's card also has to, has to do with a choice. But I feel like there is a very lucrative relationship in love 
that could lead to a lot of abundance. But if you just continue to do things as you've been doing them, then this opportunity is going to disappear is what I honestly feel. So hmm, a lot of you as well could be helping people with their own relationship issues as well as an opportunity to make money potentially. You know, um, I don't know. A lot of people have the idea that if you've been through a bad relationship, how could you possibly give relational advice? But to that, I would say like, would you rather get on a ship to cross the ocean with a captain who has faced many stormy seas and survived, or would you rather go with the college graduate who just got his ship from his daddy who's never sailed, but everything is studied perfectly? I'm the boss of this boat. You can call me Skippa. I'd choose Skippa. <laughs> so let's clarify why the Five of Swords is in your challenge. Like, why is the Five of Swords in your challenge? I feel like this is someone with very malicious intent for you. If it's not that, then some of you, this is going to be your own anger management. I'm telling you, a lot of you going to be very angry for some sort of reason in February 2024. Something about a missed opportunity as well, or like the wrong choice. Like a lot of you are going to be feeling like, hmm, maybe I made the wrong choice in some sort of way, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. The Five of Swords is clarified by the Two of Wands which has to do with the choice, a crossroads, the tower, and the hierophant. The tower has to do with an explosion, bad, go away, it's done. And the hierophant has to do with commitment, tradition, order, once again. Order, law and order. <laughs> and so with this being in your challenge, I really feel like someone is, you could commit to the wrong person here out of an emotional reaction, whether this is in business or love. I feel like for some of you, you have a double whammy of, a tycoon coming at you in love and work. That's just both of them are not good. And I feel like a lot of you are going to find peace within the citadel of your own soul in February. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be doing things, not going to be taking action, but I feel like more so it's more of like a, hey, be very precise with who you're dealing with. Now, um, there's also this thing about a lot of you could be really dealing with in February 20, it's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, I do sense anger management about uh, a choice that you made about potentially a commitment that went wrong. You could have committed yourself to someone and it didn't work out. And now in February 2024, you're sitting here like, maybe I shouldn't have made that choice. For others of you, you're going to say, I should have stayed committed. I shouldn't have, you know, kind of did something I shouldn't have done, etc. There's something about commitment and a tower, obviously the Hierophant Tower that's really flipping you out. Now, for others of you that are kind of just like married or you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, you there could be something going on here as well that is really troubling you along those lines. So with that being said, let's just continue this reading to get more information for you. So let's get more information, first of all, on this offer coming your way, because I don't think this is your energy. Uh, why is the Ace of Pentacles here, Cancer, in your um, overall general energy? Could be an opportunity to travel. Yeah. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in your overall general energy is clarified with the Six of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and also the Knight of Cups here. So there could be some sort of offer about, you know, hey, come live with me, or hey, come take this trip with me, etc. But once again, you see the, the Nine of Cups here, which is kind of a selfish energy. One person is happy, they have all their ducks in a row, and the Knight of Cups obviously has to do with romance and idealism. And that's the thing that I told you to kind of... Uh, move away from is idealism. You know, the energy that you need more is Virgo, which is not an idealistic energy. It's a very real energy. It's an energy that's like, let me see the results, bro. Let me see the contract. Let me see the details. Let me tell you how bad you are instead of how good you are. Now, obviously Virgo is also the healer. So, but I'm just basing this off my intuition. And so there's really something here about you moving away from uh, a potential offer that is, you know, here for you. And this could be someone who's like been trying. What I'm also getting now is that this could be for a lot of you, someone who's been trying to offer you something multiple times that you finally 
completely move away from and you move away from you move from choppy waters to calmer waters and you finally put up that you finally put up that boundary that kind of leads to a letdown though you know it definitely it, there could be there's definitely like a feeling of missed opportunity here in some sort of way in this reading but like i said no matter what you do you have to go law and order don't tell me how great things are going to be show me the results type of thing so it's a very interesting month for you i don't know let's also clarify why the seven of wands is here in your um in your overall general energy what why is the seven of wands here for you there could also be someone putting a boundary with you that really hurts you and it could really be messing with you I feel for a lot of you, to be honest. So if that's you, and it could be someone that, that you feel like it was a soul contract, you know, the, four, the, the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands is popping out now. Uh, yeah, the, the High Priestess, the Sun, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of... Yeah, hmm, I don't know. I, I still need to... I feel like you're honestly putting up a boundary with, with someone you have a soul contract with. Uh, so this could be a very painful month overall. However, Cancer, on the other side of a painful month of you disc, it seems like to be a month of disconnection and resetting yourself spiritually. On the other side of that, though, there is your true worth and there is abundance in knowing that there is no such thing as genuine missed opportunity if you're fully aware of the doors that can open for you in this universe. The universe is abundant. There is no lack other than in our own mind. Okay, so the Empress card in what you don't see coming along with the Four of Swords and the Four of uh, Pentacles is like, even if you miss an opportunity in the physical world, I'm telling you, it's there. there's something more out there for you and you can't let that get you down. Okay, so don't trip and and look like have faith in the future because once again your opportunity is you you need to keep developing yourself for the future and what i sense going on is whoever is offering something to you whether this is a crappy business deal or a shysty love deal or a family member trying to show you love and really their their true actions are hate and they're calling it love <laughs> You've not lost anything. If you lose something and it brings you peace, then you have not lost anything. But what I'm telling you is you are going to lose something if you take the crappy shysty deal because your future timeline is going to be all messed up. And so don't settle for anything that contains this frequency. Don't do it. You have to exist within law and order. Something needs to come into balance here, Cancer, for you. So I also feel like there's a relationship that's being set up down the line. I don't think it's gonna manifest for a lot of you in February, 2024. There could be a distance. There could be something blocking it, but I'm telling you there's like these like, there's this beautiful mermaid or this merman waiting for you and there's like a shark that you're just like, you know what? I feel crappy today. Hello, shark. <laughs> you're dead. So don't die. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and clarify. I mean, why is the four of pentacles here and what you don't know? Why is the empress here and what you don't see coming? Why is the empress here and what you don't see coming? Oh, well, the emperor is here, but also the death card. So that's interesting. I don't know. I'm not. It's too many cards. Well, I mean, obviously. So there could be a relationship that's being set up for you here, and it could be someone that you meet. I mean, this could happen real fast for you as well. As a result of you kind of putting up a boundary having everything written in it, it, like the Virgo energy that you need more of and to communicate instead of just ghosts. Remember, you're not going to get anywhere just by ghosting anyone. It's not going to work out for you in February is what Spirit's telling me. But as a result of you setting up a boundary and it's fully dead, the, the cord has been pulled. The soul has left the body. There is no more silver cord attaching. The, 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 the body's dead to whatever relationship or whatever crappy deal that was being presented to you, it's dead. It's There's no more possibility of it ever happening because you came to a decision 
about that, it's almost like you would be surprised how fast the universe is going to send your true mirror. Because here's the thing. You, you, you want the emperor and the empress relationship in what you don't see coming as a result of you making these, these boss changes of not just acting on your emotions, of setting boundaries. That's the frequency that you need to be in in order to attract this. So whether this comes instantly in February 2024 or not, this is the lifeline that you will have shifted to. And this is why spirituality is so difficult to track because most people do not have a mystic being like, here's what it is. You made that decision. Now you're on this lifeline because everyone's just like, oh, TikTok. So, and I'm not saying you're probably more intuitive than me half of you out there, but because you're more intuitive than me, you're also less um, grounded. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, get into your advice. Why is the justice card in your advice? I basically turned my energy from a a weak sledgehammer into a very pointed homeopathic laser through several things that I've done, if you couldn't already tell. One of them being not being freezing. Why is the justice card here in uh, your advice? Do it by the book, cancer. No shiesty deals, cancer. Business mogul. A Jordan Belfort going to jail, destroying their yacht in the Mediterranean Sea, a, a cancer. You know, I was on a flight with Jordan Belfort, and I had one of the most awkward experiences in my life. I was sitting first class. It was like one of the first first class flights I ever had. I was like sitting there, and I see Jordan Belfort get on the plane. And like as we're getting off the plane, I'm like, hey, Jordan. Uh, I just said the most awkward. <laughs> Jordan Belfort's a G, but, you know, I feel like. I need to hold on. Mmm. 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 You see, now I'm getting distracted. Let's clarify where the justice card is here. This reading, man. Well, man. The Justice card so far is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, you're at a precipice, you're at a crossroads right now, Cancer, that if you just do the thing that is the fastest, most available business option or option in love, and you don't wait and you don't respect yourself, this is literally going to destroy your destiny. And obviously there's multiple opportunities to hop onto a destined timeline for you personally. However, a very important timeline might be destroyed for you. So your biggest opportunity is to avoid this energy, the five of swords, the knight of wands, and the knight of swords is just fast. And remember what the advice is the justice card. You need to be, you need to bring balance to just making a quick decision about some sort of business or love or the way that you interact with someone and you need more Virgo third and seventh house energy in February 2024. So with that being said, I really feel like this is a very pivotal month for you, but it's not for a lot of you. It's not going to seem like it. 